users, today I'm going to walk you through setting up your integration with your CRM. At this time of release, we're only doing it with Podio for a native integration. If you do have another CRM, you can still always use Zapier. Uh, but to use our native integration, we're first doing Podio and we will add other CRMs later on. So first things first, just click Account Settings, Manage App Integrations, and Integrate Sherpa with my CRM. If there is another CRM you would like to see have a native integration with Sherpa, you can suggest those here. So other integrations will be available soon. Let us know which CRM you'd like to integrate with here. You click that and you can uh, submit your suggestion. But let's move on and set up this integration with Podio. So I'm gonna sign into my Podio account. These are my Podio login credentials. And that's gonna load all of the items from my Podio account. So in my Podio, I want to select my uh, Sherpa leads to go into my lead Sherpa organization, my testing space workspace, and my seller leads app. This may be different for you. It just You're just telling Sherpa where you want your Sherpa leads to go. So you may have different workspaces or applications, obviously a different organization. So that's going to be unique to your account. So once we select all those three, all of the fields in that app are going to load. So all of the fields shown here are your Podio fields. If you see something wrong or off or missing, then go to your Podio and edit your template. But this is just according to what you have in your Podio. So then we can go ahead and map all of our items. So uh, I'm now going to map the Sherpa data points into the Podio field. So in my property address Podio field, I want to put my Sherpa property address, property city, property state, and property zip. In the first name, I want to put first name. In the last name, I want to put last name, of course. Some of these are very straightforward and, and obvious, but you may have other fields in your Podio account uh, that you can either skip by or you can map data into. It's completely up to you where you want to put the data points. And so I'm just uh, typing these in because it will bring up the match, but we can also scroll down and see all of our options. There's a lot of things here, some things you might not map, you might wanna map everything, it's up to you. I'm not gonna go through and map every single point, but I'm gonna map a, a few extras in my notes section. The first for email address, email one, email two, these are coming from skip trace, or if you've uploaded your data with emails, then we'll pull that over. Mailing address, mailing city, mailing state, mailing zip. Lead status, this is the type of field that's actually in Podio and it's like a menu of items to choose from. Uh, so these are actually not Sherpa data points, but this is actually Podio da data points. But we're saying uh, in this type of selection, we want all of our Sherpa users to have contact in progress lead status or whatever you want it to be. Again, it's up to you. Uh, lead source, I'm not going to put anything. Ask Podio to, I'm not going to put anything. Notes, this is where I'm going to put some additional uh, items. So I'm going to put the notes that I have on the prospect page. I'm going to do the campaign name. I'm going to do the agent they're assigned to. I'm going to push over the property tags that are on the prospect. Um, so what else can I put? I'm going to do links. So links to the conversation. There's a, a public link and then there's also the Sherpa page link for people who have logins. Um, and am I missing anything I want to include? Let's do lead stage as well. But if you have a notes section or a general items section, you may want to map over, you know, we, you can put the custom column data, you can put a bunch of skip trace data, uh, some other information that we're returning for you, some flags about bankruptcy, foreclosure, uh, relatives data. If you have fields in your Podio account where you can put relative data, you can map those in. I don't have those in my Podio account, but just scroll through here and just map the information into the appropriate fields. I'm going to leave lots of these blank because lots of these are items that I'm not going to know just yet, but I'll end up knowing later on when I'm uh, dealing with the prospect in Podio. So once it's in my CRM and I'm, I've met the prospect and the, the conversation is going on, we can fill these out in Podio later on, but right now in Sherpa, we don't really have this information. So I'm gonna hit complete. I'm gonna hit test and continue. We can also review everything that we mapped, to make sure everything looks good. If something's in the wrong spot, we can hit back and edit, uh, and we can see everything that we left empty here as well. But I'm gonna hit test and continue. And that should 
push John Doe over to my Podio account. So John Doe at 123 Main Street, that's our test. It's always going to be that so that you know it's not a real lead. And I'm going to hit turn on integration. So we know that that worked well. We can click on it. We can see, okay, the property address is in the right place, the first name, last name, the phone number, the email, the mailing address. The, this is that menu I was talking about. So contact in progress, um, the notes from the prospect page, the campaign, the um, uh, the agent that we assigned, the tags that are on the prospect, the links to the prospect pages, and the follow-up. These are all just example ones, obviously, because it's John Doe. So now I'm going to show you actually pushing over a prospect. So I'm going to click here, and then I say that this is somebody that I want to push over to my CRM. I bring over the pop-out, and I click push to CRM with integration. Now, this is going to have a 60-second countdown. Because if I make any changes, so if uh, William then responds to me, sends a new text, because our texts will push over as well, and I'll show you that. We didn't have to map it. Um, but if a new text happens, so this is a new text, or I decide, oh, I actually want to add uh, follow up next week as a note, or I want to change the lead stage to push to Podio, all of these updates after I've clicked the button are going to be included in the push. I don't have to sit here on this page and, and wait for these, this 60 seconds to go by. I can continue on once I hit it and move on to other prospects and navigate away and it's still gonna process. But I'm gonna stay here because I'm also gonna show you that we can push updates. So once this is um, pushed over, Let me navigate over to Podio now. Let's go to my testing space. And I can now see William Thorne. And so what's something that's really great about having this native integration is that the texts push over into the activity. So we didn't have to map that because it does it automatically. We mapped all of these things, but our texts are gonna push over as well. So we can see the text conversation. The other great thing about using this native integration instead of Zapier is that if I send a new message, this is another new message. And then I hit, uh, or I add a property tag as well. Let's add a property tag and let's change it to make offer. I can push updates to the CRM, which you cannot do with Zapier. And so now, Okay, yes, so this is another new message. We've got um, the new lead stage in there as well. And so all of our updates are pushing now over. So especially the text, that's really important because if text conversations continue to happen, we'll now see that in the activity here. So that's another big new benefit of using this integration. Uh, one, the text messages go over. Two, there's a lot more information that you can push. And three, you can push those updates. So that's really awesome. If you need any help with setting this up, just reach out to support at leadshiver.com and we will help you. If you need to start from scratch for any reason, you just come back here. You can click delete and start from the beginning, or you can click edit and just go back to editing those mapping fields. But again, if you need any help, just reach out to support. Uh, and other than that, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with all of our um, updates that come out.